today I'm going to show you something very special. I am going to show you how to make quinoa, and I'm also going to teach you a lesson in body. Keep watching! Welcome to my kitchen. It's nothing special, but I just had something really cool to show you. So our topic was on botany, and we were talking about God creating the seeds with the seeds in itself. Because God didn't create full-grown trees and stick them in the ground. If you read Genesis chapter 2, it says that he caused a mist to water the ground for the plants to grow up. So we realized that God planted a seed with a seed that's in itself, and, and I wanted to show you what that means. So we're going to get out the quinoa and we're going to put it in that pan. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take one cup, okay, quinoa, almost looks like grass seed, it looks very, very yucky, it's something you would think would be not very tasty. There you go, this is quinoa, it's teeny tiny, um, it looks like grass seed. Reduce to simmer, cover and cook until grain is translucent or the germ has spiraled out from each grain. Now, we know that a germ, it's not talking about a bacteria. It's talking about the little bitty sprout that comes out of the seed blade. The little bitty green sprout. That's the cool part. Okay, now once it's cooked, it's really, really good. Here, I'll show you. This is quinoa that's finished. You can see each individual seed has a little bitty sprout inside of it. When Genesis talks about the seed being in itself, that is what the Bible is talking about. Each little bitty seed individually has the genetic code or the DNA structure to provide another plant that is quinoa. You never see quinoa producing anything else other than quinoa. That's why the Bible says they produce after their kind. So that is how a plant started.